My father taught me that if you're not a student of history, you're doomed to repeat it. We have lost so much culture from the Cuban people, so much joy, so much music, so much art. I think that Cuba was used in a lot of ways uh, by a lot of people right here. It was a political pawn, poor little thing, poor little pretty little country just used. We're part of the problem that, that Cuba's ended up the way it is, that we instigated a lot of what went on there. And that just makes me so sad. People send me the different magazines with the covers. At last I started to collect them. So I have here, I think, about 60 or 80 different magazines, most Americans and Soviets. And then also it is posters of my lectures. I believe that there will be some drops that add some knowledge to the public, American, Russian, the world to make this uh, world safer and better. Because all of them, of us, are people. We want to live in peace, to live together, and not to kill each other, not in New York, not in Kabul, not in any other country. Please. You learn the lessons of the past, but you forgive, and you start trying to create a new world and which are more open to ideas. When people can get to that level, then I think everybody improves their ways. We should treat Cuba just like any other country. It is just a country that happens to be our closest neighbor. The embargo today makes no sense at all. If Kennedy had lived, I don't think he would have continued it.